Wednesday Wanderers, it's Ranger Erin, and we're going to be talking today about mayflies. So maybe you've heard that mayflies only live for a day, and it's kind of true and it's kind of not true. So we're going to figure out what's true and not true about that. So our mayflies start out life in the water, and if you've ever seen a mayfly, you probably have seen the mayfly that lives on land. And it's a big winged creature with these kind of very clear, pretty wings, and it has this kind of loop-shaped body. So that is a mayfly, that's the adult mayfly, but most of its life, it lives out here in the water. So it's an aquatic insect. So it lives its whole baby life. So as a nymph, it lives in the water for about one to two years. So it definitely doesn't just live for a day. But as that young mayfly nymph, it's gonna be living in the water. It's gonna be crawling around underneath the undersides of rocks. It has a funny little body with three tails, just like when it's an adult, it has three tails. You can always look for that. And it's gonna be out here in nice, clean waterways because it really doesn't like pollution, so it's not gonna be able to handle pollution. So it's kind of a good sign of water quality. On top of that, it's gonna be keeping that water a little bit more clean. So it's gonna be eating a bunch of algae and it's also gonna be eating kind of the leftovers and all of that debris that other animals are just kind of too big to notice. So it's gonna be cleaning up by scavenging for food out here. On top of that, because there's so many of them, there are a lot of good food for fish. So when they're ready to become an adult after they lived for about a year, maybe even two years, they're gonna float up to the surface and this is gonna be their metamorphosis. So all of our insects are gonna go through that just like our caterpillar to butterfly, they're gonna go through metamorphosis, but our mayflies aren't gonna form a cocoon. They're just gonna float up to the surface, they're gonna shed their exoskeleton and they're gonna have to let their wings emerge and kind of uncrumple and get big so that they can fly. But during that time, they're sitting ducks, which means that any fish can come along. They're just floating on the top of the water, waiting for their wings to be able to take them away. And they can't do anything about getting away, so fish will go crazy eating them up. So fishermen are always keeping an eye for when those mayflies are about to merge. And then for the part about if they only live for a day, whether that's true or not, once they do come up out of that water and they become that full adult, they do only live for a day or two. So our females sometimes only live for five minutes. Our males, they might make it a whole two days, but no longer than that. So that's our mayfly life cycle, pretty weird. Our mayflies, as that adult, they don't even have a mouth to eat because if you're gonna live such a short life, you aren't gonna have to worry about eating. So once they're up on land, they're gonna have that short life. They'll be flying around. All they do is find a mate, lay their eggs back in the water for them to live their life, and then they're gonna go ahead and die. And again, that's gonna be a great food source for all different kinds of creatures like birds and fish. For our activity today, we're gonna be going on a water critter hunt. So you're gonna head on down to some type of creek area and you might want to bring along with you some water shoes so you can walk in the water or some old tennis shoes you don't mind getting dirty some type of container to hold some critters in and maybe a magnifying glass and what we're gonna do I've got some water in my bin and I've already collected a few critters you're gonna head on over to that creek area or perhaps a pond if that's closer to you. And what you wanna do is lift up some rocks and look carefully for any critters. I've got a snail here. I've already collected a snail, so I'm gonna leave this one here. You're just gonna keep looking, hopefully until you find a mayfly. So we're looking for a creature that's got three tails. So here I've caught a mayfly, the nymph stage. You can kind of see its tails are a little bit tangled up right now, but it does have three different tails. Maybe if I give it a little bit of water, you can kind of see 
how those tails drift apart. And maybe you see a little bit of that rippling that's going on along its body. That's its gills working to breathe because it breathes through gills just like our fish do. After you found a whole bunch of creatures, I want you to just take a, a look and see how they're all a little bit different. It doesn't matter if you know the names of them. I don't expect you to, but I just want you to notice that they're a little bit different. So there's our mayfly right down here with three tails. This kind of clump right over here, there's a caddisfly that's inside of this one. They make their home out of rocks by sp spinning kind of a web around them. My snail is moving on right over here. I've got a water penny that presses itself flat on the bottom of rocks. Of course, you probably know that crayfish. And I want you to pick your favorite animal and I want you to just draw it. So you're gonna count up and find out how many different types of creatures that you found, pick your favorite one, and then draw it. I went ahead and drew a few of my critters because I was really interested in them today. You're welcome to draw all of them if you want. And it's not really about having a really good drawing at the end. Sometimes drawing something while you're looking at it just helps you to notice some things that you never did before. So I looked really closely at my mayfly today, an aquatic snail, and a water penny. And I never really noticed where the mayfly's eyes were. And drawing that really helped me to find that. And once you get finished with your critters, We're gonna go ahead and dump them back in the water so that they can safely live out the rest of their life. All right, well, thanks for joining me. I will catch you all next time.